Hi and welcome to the third and final clip in this mini-series of how to add help onto your Power BI report. Now this third clip is actually using my favorite technique and that favorite technique is adding a button onto the page and then using the action tab for that button to take us to a completely new page. This has a couple of advantages for me. One is I don't have to mess around with the complexity of bookmarks, which when you've got more than three or four or five bookmarks gets quite complex. And secondly, because I'm presented with a completely new page, then I've got a lot of real estate on the page where I can place specific information. And so it's a nice feature and a nice clean navigation. So without any further ado, let's go through and set this up in Power BI. Okay, let's have a look at Power BI. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set it up so that when I click on this button, we navigate to a new page to display the help. Let's begin to set that up. The way I do it is I like to keep the visuals in exactly the same place on the page. That means that it's easy for me as a user to reference and understand exactly what we're looking at. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to really duplicate this page. So I'll right click and we'll duplicate the page. That's put at the end of the report and it's called duplicate of summary. Let's just rename that. And I'll call this Sales and Profit Help Page. That's a sensible name that allows me to reference exactly what it is. I'll also right click and hide that page. We don't need it to be visible to the end user. Okay, so on this page, I really want to just get rid of everything except the buttons that I'm going to use. Let me do that quickly for you. Okay. Now it's a question of adding in the help, and I'm going to do that using the usual text boxes and any other images that I want. OK, now the last thing to do is to modify this button and to wire this particular button up. Again, I don't want that button. When I've pressed the help, I really want a depressed button. So let's go and insert this help selected image. So I'll modify that to change the size and to place it in the right location on the report. Once we've modified the size, then the last thing we need to do is set up the action. And the action, of course, we could either have as back or we could have as page navigation. I'm going to select this as page navigation. The destination page is the summary page. So let's check that that works. Great, we go to the summary page. One thing we haven't yet done is wire up the action for this button, so let's do that. So on the action, again, we'll choose page navigation and we'll go to the sales and profit help page. We could enter a tooltip as we've done previously. We'll leave it as that for now. Let's just check that this works. Superb. We're taken to our help page. And then when we click here, we're taken back. Brilliant. We'll publish this and we'll check that this works on the web. OK. If I click on this button, let's see what happens. I'm then taken to my help page. Notice that the sales and profit visualization is in exactly the same place. So from a user perspective, this is really nice because I'm not looking for different things on the web page. The mouse stays in the same place as well. So once I've read the help, it's a simple question of just clicking on the same interface button in the UI. So clicking there takes me back to the web page again. Notice how it's seamless and it's easy to implement. OK, so now you've seen how we can attach actions to specific images or buttons in Power BI to enable us to display help for our report. And we did two things uh, plainly in this clip. We navigated to a new page and in previous clips uh, we used the bookmarks feature.
I hope you like what you saw and if you did please do subscribe to the channel the information is on the page now okay good luck with your Power BI reports cheers